Hello everybody and welcome back to a new tea spill video and today I will be talking about a whole bunch of things including the apple bobbing situation and I know I'm a little bit late on this but it is a situation I would like to talk about and I want to talk about the new Halloween 2020 halo so let's start off with the apple bobbing situation if you guys watched my last video, I talked about the apple bobbing situation saying how it will get you banned if you AFK farm the apple bob. Like, I agree that it is a bannable thing that you guys should be concerned about because some developers and some people may ban you for it. So I'm not saying that it's not bannable because I feel like some people will still get banned, but for me at least after looking on twitter and youtube and instagram i've come to a conclusion that it is not a big deal and that many developers including launcelot i think from twitter said that the apple bobbing situation would not be bannable or is not, it should not be bannable not will not should not be bannable unless you use a third party device or an auto clicker those things, like an auto clicker and a third party um, device, or a third, I mean, well, third party an extension, anything really that is not for Roblox or Royal High, it should be punishable. And I completely 100% agree with that because you guys should not be using those. But then again, I feel like for this type of um, Apple Bump farming, which I am doing right now, it should not be bannable at all. Like, as you can see, I'm doing it. And if somebody watches this and decides to ban me, oh well, I'll tell you guys. So, basically, I feel like apple bobbing and, like, just getting candies takes so long. And people don't have that time. And I think it's really selfish to require people not to AFK farm and require people to stay 100%, like, um, can concentrated on farming and trick-or-treating i feel like that is a very selfish thing for a game developer to do and to ban people for getting things which usually takes so long and i i know it sounds a little harsh but that is how i feel and i feel like a lot of people are too scared to talk about that and yeah, so if anything is like this in other games and stuff, you should call it out, and it is selfish. You cannot use another word for it. If you require people to farm using trick-or-treating, you spending all of their time, and require young people especially to apple farm, I mean candy farm, and everything, that or diamond farm even, I feel like that's crazy and unacceptable. So aside from that note, um, I think around October 10th or 11th or I don't know, the badge came out for the new Royal High Halo and here it is right here and only like 600 people have won it so far according to today's date which is the 13th I think, I don't know, <laughs> anyways. It is rare, I guess, but not that rare. I wouldn't want to bet on it because there has been drama about people not liking it and then, like, talking trash about the developer or the person who made it. I think it was Jam Jam Jew, but I think it looks lovely and people should, like, not hate on it. Even if you guys don't like the Halo, you should never hate about it. And if you don't have anything nice to say, then don't say it at all. I think that's a very important thing to talk about because there are haters there and there will always be haters. But keep doing what you think is good, right? And just, I, I don't understand why people would go out of their way and hate on something that was like, made for them i mean it's really nice so aside from all that let's look at which fountain stories would get you a halo now not all of these are a hundred percent i do know it's random so it doesn't really matter which story you get and doesn't really matter which answer but these are just the ones that where people 
got the halo from and had the answers and were pretty correct so for this one i am using right now the paranormal hunter or reyna you would like to use the orange or the look for the legendary creatures one um but all of the times i got this i always got xp or something and yeah so obviously i have not gotten the halo yet but if you do know someone who has gotten the halo and uh, i would like to interview them a little bit for a video um if they would like to obviously but you know keep trying and i'm pretty sure it is very doable to get a halo another thing i want to talk about is this fountain the one that you saw me from you can like you can go on it now like you can go on it to do the fountain stories and i think that's a really good update because whenever i'm here i don't want to travel to divinia and then come back it gets tiring and i think the fountain being here is a very good decision and i respect that a lot and i think it was one of the best parts of this mini update so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and please subscribe and i'm doing a giveaway at 50 subscribers for a set i don't know which one you guys want but please comment down below if you have one that you would like i'll see you guys later and i hope you guys have a wonderful day